Welcome to video 29 in our van build series. Today I'm going to manufacture my own diesel tank out of ABS pipe and mount it under our van. Our van uses gas and our Chinese heater uses diesel and we don't want the smell of diesel in our camper. If this sounds like a problem that you'd like to address, this is the video for you. Enough talk, let's get started. So my van is gas, not diesel. And if it was diesel, I would just be tapping into the uh, existing uh, fuel tank. However, since it's gas, I don't have the, um, the additive for diesel. Um, however, I'd like to use this access point. So I'm going to explore the idea of putting a second filler cap right here. This one for diesel, this one for gasoline. And that would enable me to mount a diesel tank underneath here uh, somewhere. Um, assuming there's space, I'll take a look. And uh, if there is, then I'll have diesel, at no time will I have a diesel smell inside the cabin. So this is my plan A. My plan B will be installing that tank inside at the back somewhere. Look at this, check this out. So I'm gonna call ram and find out uh the fitting for this and buy it and we're done i mean literally it's a perfect access for putting diesel diesel for the heater gas for the engine our van is a 2014 and in 2014 ram was using these inexpensive press-on clips to hold the fuel line shield in place <laughs> okay that's the fuel tank uh, let's take this one off all right. All right. And I got few, full free access right up to the... Okay, very cool. Let's see if we can make that work. And let's see if we can see up inside there. Get some light in there. Okay. I think I can get another fuel line coming straight down there from the outside. And the fuel line will come out here and either I'll find a tank to fit in this area, or I'll do a wide surface mount along here. Here I am removing the short rubber hose that connects the gasoline fuel filler to the tank. There we go. You need a T30 hex to remove a Ram ProMaster fuel filler. I need to temporarily remove the existing fuel filler to make room for the new addition. Well, I hope I can find that. Cutting the end off the new DEF filler pipe. And here is my first attempt at fitting the new filler pipe. Okay, I'm making some progress here, but uh, I've had to remove the, the access panel on the inside here. So I've act actually, this is the, uh, the fuel, the, the gasoline uh, fuel filler right here. I've removed it and pulled it back to give me access to this. And I've removed this cover right here. So, um, what I wanted to point out here is right where you're seeing here, I've got my hand in the way there, this one right here, that is the new diesel filler. And what's important to note here is that there is not room for the diesel fueler and the uh, fuel line vent. Uh, I've got it installed there. Gosh, it's hard to show there. There it is right there. The point I wanted to make out is it has to go on the other side of this frame member. So it has to go literally go in like this. So uh, essentially what I did is I fed it up through the bottom, brought both pieces right up into this area here, disconnected the fuel vent line and rerouted it on the other side of this, brought it back up and then assembled it and then shoved it back in. So it's not a, not a straightforward process and very, very tight fit. Here I am drilling out the second hole in the fuel filler door housing. This is a 364 drill bit. 
I'm going to use it to drill a hole in the top of my diesel fuel cap. This will let air in while the pump sucks out fuel. Here I am drilling a third hole in the fuel line shield rubber gasket. This is for the 5 8 vent line I've added. Coming. That's pretty good. Fuel tank. I guess we'll put it on next. There we go. Okay. Okay, here is my diesel tank game plan. I'm starting with a four inch ABS pipe. Uh, it's currently six feet long. When I'm done, it'll probably be about four and a half feet because it has to fit underneath the van. And then a whole bunch of adapters at this end to break it down to a one inch fuel line. Now I'm gonna be having a, the fuel pickup located on the bottom. And uh, at the other end, uh, which will be higher slightly in the vehicle, will be the air vent. I used a collection of pieces to assemble the one inch fuel filler head for my four inch diameter diesel tank. All available at Home Hardware or Home Depot. A couple of advantages of using ABS over PVC is that it is stronger and more shock resistant than PVC and it can handle much lower temperatures than PVC. I'm cutting one foot off the length of pipe as I need to test to see if my 1 8 inch fuel supply fitting will seal against the curvature of a 4 inch pipe. I capped the end and filled the tube with water. While that sat overnight, I went on to make four brackets to hang the fuel tank under the ProMaster's body. The new brackets will be bolted to the frame. Off camera, I drilled, primed, and installed four M8 rivet nuts. To protect the tank from the surface of the van, I'm using Camper Seal Multipurpose Foam Tape. This is the same material that you would use on your pickup to protect the paint while mounting a canopy. I used 3 quarter inch galvanized steel suspension pipe strapping to attach to my four brackets. Wow, that's solid. Using a pen, I'm scribing the inside of the pipe wall. I need to do this to determine what kind of offset to leave for the 5 8 inch fuel vent fitting. This is our um, tank vent hole. It'll be the uh, highest location in the, uh, in the tank. This is what it looks like. There you go. And I've left just enough clearance in here to slip over top of the tank. Put it in like that. And inside here, if you look carefully, you'll see the two vents. There they are. And they're gonna be placed in the up position, probably something like that. And that'll ensure the, uh, we're just left with a very small pocket of air in the tank. So I'm going to tighten it that position. And it's a 5 inch, a correction, 5 8 coupling. Isn't that slick? Well, I have fitted the tank 
and I now know its final length is 50 inches. Okay, I now know my fuel tank's final size. The filler neck's approximate inside dimensions are three quarters of an inch. And it's about three feet long leading down to the tank. So about a quarter of a liter in the neck itself. The inside dimensions of the ABS pipe that make up my diesel tank is four inches. And in order to leave enough room for clearance from the rear wheel, as well as enough space to connect to the filler neck, I had to cut the pipe down to 50 inches. So I've got 10 and a quarter liters in the diesel tank and another quarter of a liter in the neck. So maximum capacity is 10.5 liters. Okay, so just a little bit more than the inside tank that came with the unit, but it's all outside. Fantastic. Okay, I am very carefully marking the vent right now for the fuel. This is the, uh, the fuel intake that'll go to the pump. And this is the other end. And I'm just making a mark there. You just see that there. Just making a mark there on the, uh, on the pipe to make sure that the vent is at the highest spot. I have the two marks lined up. Well, here is the finished fuel tank. 50 inches uh, long, four inch inside diameter. Uh, this end is the one inch filler. This is the part that came with the, uh, the Chinese diesel heater. It's the fuel pickup. It's a one eighth inch fuel pickup. And down at the other end here, at the highest point of the tank is a five eighths adapter and it's the vent. I'll have the parts for uh, all of these in the description. So I'm about ready to install this. Time to reinstall Ram's fuel line shield. I'm making use of the unused channel for the deaf fluid tube. It fits my one inch fuel line and 5 8 inch fuel vent line very nicely. Once again here I'm using those super cheap Ram press on clips. I hammered them flat and then used a deep socket to hammer them home. If they give me any problems in the future, I'll switch to a hex flange nut. Vent line, 5 eighths vent line, and one inch fuel line. Got to connect this to this. Well, I've spent the, uh, the better part of the, uh, the day underneath this van. Um, I'm at the back of the van right now. This is the, uh, the very end of the fuel tank, and this is the 5 8 uh, vent line, and it goes all the way down the side. I'll go down to the other end in a minute. I'll just show you how this is held in. I've got three quarter inch strapping, and it goes right to the frame, and uh, it is absolutely solid. It's not going anywhere. Let's go down to the other end. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. So here is the one inch line coming out of the uh, fuel tank going up to the, the neck and in the filler it's uh underneath the uh, the ram shroud and underneath that is the 5 8 uh, vent line which is connected to the back of the tank I'll show you where it goes right here there you can see it there and it pops inside that shroud as well and the only other thing to hook up is this 1 8 fuel nipple which is going to be connecting of course Let's get my body out of the way. It's going to be connecting right here to the fuel pump. So I'll hook that up in a minute and, uh, and then we'll give this a test. The def opening is too small to accept a diesel fuel nozzle. I knew this going in. It just means I have to use either a funnel or a jerry can to fill the tank. Not ideal but a necessary and welcome trade-off for enabling me to store diesel outside of the vehicle. I'll paint the cap yellow in the near future. Okay, let's see if we can get some fuel in this line. Oh yeah, there's fuel. Okay, definitely fuel. Okay, we got fuel in the line. Diesel everywhere. 
Ugh, ugh. God, this stuff stinks. Okay, I'll button up this line later. I wanna just make sure the heater works. Well, this is working perfectly. Well, very successful day. I'm uh, right at the front of the van, and you can see I now have the loom uh, covering up the, the fuel line. Um, the fuel line sticks out a little further down than I'd like. Uh, it's uh, actually not quite as far down as the water tank, but the uh, I am gonna build a little rock guard for this, so I'll work on that tomorrow. It'll be a shield that comes around here and just covers that up like that, so if it gets hit with a rock, it won't be damaged. Okay, so I am right in front of the rear left tire, uh, maybe eight inches, eight inches or so. So I'm actually gonna go into the frame right here and build a little uh, aluminum shelter for any kickback from this that might touch this. Um, I don't know if it's needed or not, but it's not gonna take me too much work to do that. I'm pretty good at bending metal. So I will tackle that tomorrow. But other than that, this job is done. Using a scrap piece of four inch ABS to start the forming of the rock guard. Here I'm bending some of the metal to build the one eighth inch fuel feed housing. I'm using an inch and a half long screw to set the height of the rock guard. The rock guard will need to attach to my four inch diameter housing. This will require some manual manipulation of the aluminum to attach it to a compound curve. No math here, just a few minutes of trial and error. Here I'm cutting a relief area for the one eighth inch fuel nipple to fit into. Final trimming. Here is the part Clico together and ready for assembly. That's a, uh, an A4 rivet. And it's a little bit proud. So I'm gonna adjust it a couple notches. looking pretty good. Oh, let's take a good look at that. All right, so that's the setting I'm going to use uh, to countersink these rivets so the rivet heads don't uh, do anything to the, uh, the pipe. Final assembly before pulling rivets. So here's my uh, rock guard just about ready for fitting. The uh, 1 8 fuel nipple will be coming straight out here and the hose goes right out that way there. And so from the front, it's completely protected from rocks. And absolutely smooth in here, so nothing's gonna damage the pipe. This will hug the pipe and this will protect the uh, fuel nozzle. Pulling M8 rivet nuts. Okay, I can't do any more now. Oh, beauty. Well, oh, that is fantastic. The rear rock guard is super simple, so I left it until last. One 90 degree bend, one 45 degree bend, and that's it. That's done. Well, this job is done. I'm really, really pleased. <laughs>